We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show, coming at you at the desk of Matt Monarch's desk again, like last night. Uh-oh, the sun's coming on our face. Oh no, they're all going to think we're dying again, probably. Yeah. Ow. ba ba nah. So you guys should have saw Angela today. Why? She was like a kid in a candy store when she got to watch the Pretty Fairy movie. Oh, it was a fun yummers, wasn't it? It was about this little English girl who believed in fairies, and her dad didn't believe in fairies at all, and she was like, ah, that's me. Baba. You liked it, didn't you? Mm. It was a cartoon. It was called Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Escape or something like that. We got a question for you guys. It was the first time that fairies and humans have gotten together. Uh, What's the question, Moon? Moths keep eating Mr. Monarch's clothes. Evidence. Specimen. Look egg. at that! All my new hemp clothes. It's kind of rude, isn't it? So, I was looking online for solutions to help stop moths eating clothes. And they told me lots of things that moths don't like the smell of. So I just made some little horses screaming. I'd like, I just made um, some little jars like this <clears throat> with essential oils in them that apparently the moths don't like. I used rose and lavender and um, what was the other one? Grapefruit. I think this actually smells really nice. It does smell nice. So I'm going to go and put these in his closet. Um, do you guys have any other suggestions? All my clothes are dying, and I spent a lot of money before I came here to get them all. Oh, all no. natural clothing, good for the environment, sustainably harvested. Good for moths. Oh, no. Maybe you guys can give us your tips. And, we'll play a little role reverse. and that was a tip too, so we can't get into it. Alright guys, there are a few people here who wanted, who, you know, people have been placing orders and leaving stuff in the comment section, and I've been saving them, and they've, uh, I read them all, so if you sent it, I see it, and so don't think, I don't see it. Kimberly and Daniel Landstrom wanted a shout out, there you go, there's your shout out. <laughs> Woo! Thank you for the great products and exceptional bargains. This is a great site, and it's very reassuring to know that someone actually reads all the notes. Thank you. Yes, Thank we do. Thank you, Irena. Yeah. I'm just reading these. I haven't read them in a long time. Hopefully, there's no one saying anything nasty. You want to read that one, babe? Matt and Angela, wishing you all the best in all your endeavors there in Ecuador. We'd love to see more of your house. Uh, woo! Look! Beams and lights and cupboards. Um, your bedroom outside, more on how your colonic system works, how your kitchen is set up, etc. Also, what do you think about the stuff the doctors give to cleanse the colon before a colonoscopy? Could someone just drink that occasionally instead of having colon no. Oh, no, tell them why not, babe. It's not the same. And it's probably toxic. It's like a laxative that just is nasty. Is that was she done? Yes. Take care. And don't God say bless. her last name. Let's, I don't. Maybe she just want people to know that she said that. <laughs> Take care and God bless. Thank you too. <laughs> oh no, no! I think Barbie must have left our land again. Our female. No, horse. I made it indestructible, so she can't leave. She's probably by the trampoline where she always gets lost. Sparky's freaking out though. Angela will stop in the midst of a movie, eating, some other things too, just to, bam, take care of those horses. I don't like seeing them distressed. Because she gets distressed. Okay, um, should we move to the next one? Yes. I wasn't being rude, I'm just saying some people might not want them to know that. Nah. <laughs> okay, someone wrote Bubba and Angela. I guess my name's Bubba. 
have been watching YouTube for over a year now and have learned a ton about alternative health. Hi. She's gotten tips! <laughs> Appreciate all the effort she put forth. I'm deep into conventional health care. And with my third eye open, find it very difficult to practice in illness care. I'm in the midst of a battle with the flu shot, Nazis claiming an egg allergy, and it seems to be backfiring. Keep up the good work. Can't wait to try the Adia. I'm also going to try some on my goats. My Billy has been struggling, and hopefully this will be the answer. Aww. Ooh, let us know if that worked for you, your goats. Would love to move to Ecuador. Very jealous. And to... Okay, that's enough. The best of both of you. Yeehaw. Aww. Yeah, let us know about the goats. Okay, before we move on, I wanted to say something to everybody. How much you love them. Of course I love everybody. And I love you too. Yeah. And, and Sparky. Sparky, who's distressed right now because he can't find his woman. Uh. Even though he was looking at another woman today, but we won't get into that. Okay, everybody. So, um, Gila... Is a very nice one. Bon bon. Yeah. Now she never says bad words. She's always very sweet and stuff. Sometimes she makes faces at me. <laughs> Baba. I don't know if that's kind of the right. She should just go. <laughs> Bamba. Okay. We're going to slide. Let's share that with everybody. She just does it. Just like, I don't know where I'm just sitting there talking and there must be something that's just like totally probably left brain, not interested. And she's going <laughs> Just out of nowhere. Not be rude, Baba. Not be rude, Baba. <laughs> All right, you can read that one. Hi, Matt and company. It's getting close to Christmas. It's coming close to Christmas. They're cutting down trees. <laughs> They're putting up reindeer. Singing songs of joy and peace. Do we have I that? wish I had a river. Is that on here, Billy? Really? I don't think so. Oh, whoops. Oh, no, we lost the message. Okay. We got a screaming horse. <laughs> it's coming to close to Christmas. So don't forget to order Angela a mini recorder, ah, like shit. she mentioned on one of her latest shows. If This is what happens when you mention that you like to read the comments. Advice. I really wa like watching your shows. Thanks, Vicky. Thanks for the reminder, Vicky. She wants one of those things where you could be like, instead of like coming and running to the computer and bringing that around, oh, I got a song in my head. It's coming close to Christmas. Oh, no. This is a really nice comment. You want to read it? Hello, Matt and Angela. I love the episode about micro-macronutrients and the best ways to take in micros for maximum benefits. I started following your advice and felt my energy increase from day one. <laughs> Angela, a belated thank you for posting all those recipes from the Central Raw Recipe Contest. The November-December specials are amazing. I've got a head start on Christmas shopping. I've been stocking up on all the goodies that have gone on special lately, and my kitchen cabinets look like the Raw Food World mini warehouse. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe you could tell everybody about these recipes and where to get them. Um, well... Tip! And recipe! <laughs> In August, I believe it was, we ran a contest to win Annie Fio's new book, um, which is called Annie's Raw Food Essentials, and we asked you to send in your essential raw food recipes, and then we chose a winner at random... So um, there were so many entries, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of entries and probably like the biggest contest we've run so far in terms of entries. And so I was like, wow, you guys sent in all these incredible recipes. I got to share some of these. So I, I chose a load of them and I put them into my newsletters and blogs recently. Uh, so... Um, you could go to my blog and look up essential raw food recipes um, and in the search field and you might find it that way or look up Annie's name, Annie Fio or Pio, I don't know how you pronounce it. Annie is A-N-I-P-H-Y-O. And um, yeah, the contest at the moment, if you haven't entered yet, the contest is to win some of the wild harvested 
superfood seeds from Anthony the Royal Model and Blackbirds Naturals. Um, you can win three different gift sets of their wild superfood seeds. I've started to plant some of them here on our land. I'm really excited to see Baba, what happens with them. Um, if you want to be in with a chance of winning, then you send an email to rawreformcontests at gmail.com and you tell us what is your favorite way of expressing your love for Mother Earth. Before December the 5th, I think it is. Tell us that. Nice. Thanks, babe. Mm. And guess what? What? We it's are talking... It's coming close to that superfood announcement! Ah! What does it mean? It means you're about to get the most bioavailable food on the planet that has more nutrients than you can possibly imagine. And I'm not just talking the vitamins and minerals to avoid deficiency. I'm talking about the magical ingredients. What kind of magical ingredients? Life force being one. Ooh. What if I said that you can get everything in one shot? All the magical stuff. That sounds unlikely. Maybe tomorrow night will be the TV show that announces this. What's tomorrow, Monday? I'm talking tomorrow night, late tomorrow night, because it's going in the newsletter. And I'm going to probably do it. You're going to have to stay up to like 1 a.m. That's when it's going up. Well, maybe a little bit earlier. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow! How do they get on the newsletter if they're not on it? It's only 30 bucks. And it lasts for a very long time, and it the will. Newsletters, not thirty dollars. If you think green food is gonna nourish your body, it does. This is just gonna, you'll see. And it's inexpensive. And what was that thing? How do they get on the newsletter list if they're you not? You don't want my newsletter on. Like they all gotta be on their newsletter list. Go to therawfoodworld.com and ask for the free e-report, and it'll pop up. You'll get it. You mm. get the free report, and then you just automatically get hit on. Hit. Or just go to therawfoodworld.com, you'll find it. Everybody's on the newsletter. Comment below if you're not on the newsletter. And are unknowingly not on the newsletter. If you don't want to be on it, that's fine. But if you're unknowingly doing you not, let me know. So today was the National Census Day in Ecuador. No one was supposedly allowed to leave their house between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. It's over. Because someone was due to be coming to every single residence in the entire country to ask you questions like, what was your mother's name? How many bedrooms have you got? And things like that. And no one came. It's like past five o'clock now here and they didn't come. So that I guess that means we're not allowed to leave our house tomorrow either. We've got to just stay until someone comes and asks us more than 70 questions. <laughs> I find it really bizarre. I grew up in England and we do not have this kind of census. We get a piece of paper in the post, as far as I recall, and you fill in a few things and you send it back again. There's not a person coming, putting you under house arrest and coming and asking you questions and looking at your knickers. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you guys, I can ask them the question of the day. Okay. Is this being a rude one if someone comes up to you and goes like... Baba. Bye-bye. What do we got there? And Matt Monarch. 24 hours away till we make the big announcement of the brand new superfood. That's going to change people's lives, in my opinion. Time to go and save the horses. Time to save the horses. And Matt Monarch. And we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.